everyone. This is my scrap room as it is right now. Uh, I'm going to be starting on this project. It's one of my 31 days projects. And it's... I did start to clean it up, so if you can imagine, it was, it was a little worse than this. And... These, uh... These cabinets over here are actually for a closet, but I just stuck them here and they're the perfect height, counter height, where I can stand at it and I like to stand and work on projects. Um, it just makes it easier for me to stand and work rather than sit. And this table, um, I started using it kind of just for laying out things. And, you know, I watch everybody's videos and I'm like, how can you guys work in a 12 by 12 area? You know, a lot of people just do their crafting in one little tiny spot. Well, now I know how, because as you start working on projects, you start pulling out everything you own and it ends up whittling you down to just 12 by 12. So I'm going to try to do better to not do that to myself because it just frustrates me. So, and there's my paper stack. Got that at Joann's. Use a coupon. They're $35 with a coupon. And I really like it. I just don't like the little pieces in there. So I got to figure out something to do with my scraps and organizing them better. I'm not very good at doing that. Or I don't have a good solution for that. And I have Tim Holtz dies there. That has cuddle bug folders. Stuff I have to put away. Scoreboard. Stamps. Projects. Something to mail again. That's another box. It's not the same box. As yesterday's video. It's where I have my expression. And I have these. This cabinet I got at Target. And everything in here is pretty much organized. You can see. Maybe you can see. There's a baseball in there. So that's all the sports stuff. Mickey. That's all Disney. There's all stuff for Christmas. This. I'm not sure. One of these has boy stuff in it, and this one here is all my cardboards, like my cereal boxes that I'm keeping for future projects. This container right here, the black container, has some pens in there. I make, I used to make pens all the time. I have to get my wood equipment out again. I can start turning more pens again. I'll share them with you later. Uh, that's from when I was, when I had the baby. My son picked that out. Uh, and there's all my cartridges, or some of my cartridges. And I love that lamp. That lamp I got at a garage sale for five bucks. It's the best little lamp. And I have another shelf up here, which just has some decorative items on it. So yeah, you know, I could go into the drawers with you, but <laughs> I'm not so sure you want to see those. And there's my embellishment center. And the only reason this is neat is because, as you can see, I can't get to it <laughs> so it can't get messy but you know there we go so there's some more stuff up there I got blue these blue mason jars that I found so I started sticking some things in there buttons and some ribbons and stuff and right here is where my imagine is going to be once I get this one back this will be the third third one three three third one now that I'm getting back and hopefully this one works crossing my fingers that this one actually works so I mailed it out last Monday they got it yesterday which would be the fourth it probably won't ship till the third till Thursday or Friday and my luck it's going to run into where it's going to be delivered next Monday, which is a holiday, which means I'll be waiting until Tuesday. So it's going to be a good another week or more before, probably two weeks before I even see it again. So this oh, one, if anybody has any suggestions on how to, you know, store some scraps or how to store the Tim Holtz or Sizzix dies, let me know. Um, I'm really looking for a better solution than what I have. All right. Bye-bye.